We've brought in five reactors to try not to eat childhood fantasy foods. Can they resist? Or will their inner child take over? If they make it through, they'll win the ultimate childhood dream food. But if they give in, they'll have to face a nightmare food that only a child could dream of. Here is the first item. Con oh, you're kidding me. I saw this on Instagram. You are kidding me. This isn't my cup of tea, for sure. I know that it's way too sweet. This is a sugary sweet cotton candy burrito. Ours will have trick cereal and cotton candy ice cream. Oh my gosh. I feel like as a kid, you'd look at that and be like, yo, I want to eat that. I don't know whose kid fantasy that was but I cannot wait to try this. All right, here it is. Go ahead and take off the lid. All right. Yo, this is amazing. I think I'm gonna pass. I, I'm so good on that one. You know when you look at something and you like get nauseous cause you know like it's super sweet. Like that's like, that's what it is for me. It literally looks like Walt Disney threw up because it's so full of color. Do I want to try it? You're goddamn right I want to try it. Oh my god. Mm hmm. That's right where you want it to be. Mmm. Mmm. If you could describe like a rush of dopamine, this is it right here. Ah, oh, screw it. <laughs> I'm gonna go with my hands. I'm just gonna do it with my hands. Mm. That's pretty good. Wow. Why does everything. That is good, so unhealthy. I have to try it. I mean, come on. Wow. I almost thought it wasn't gonna taste good just because it's so much sugar, but it is delicious. The ice cream and the uh, and the cereal actually works really well. And you got the cotton candy, which I thought would fall apart, but it doesn't really fall apart. It actually like, it is a good vessel for all this. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, snap. Oh, and then the Pop-Tarts up. I love those kind of Pop-Tarts too. That's my favorite flavor of Pop-Tarts. I love this movie, but what were you thinking? <laughs> I love like pasta, even though it might not be the greatest. So yeah, I might try it, we'll see. It's such, a good scene, and I always thought to myself, like, maybe it'll be good. But I'm also, you know, a somewhat grown man with somewhat, you know, somewhat of a brain, and I'm thinking this is not gonna, this is not gonna turn out well. Oh, yo, what the? Mmm. It kind of looks appetizing, but at the same time, the moment I look at, like, the spaghetti, I'm like, Yo, I don't know about all that. I'm a pass. It smells really bad. I'm not gonna be trying this. I'm not, I'm, I just, I'm not gonna, you know. I, I respect myself a bit, the tiniest bit. Uh, I'm like really like contemplating it. Um, I'll, I'll try it, I'll, I'll try it. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Well, it's not bad. The pasta part isn't even like, it's just covered with the chocolate so you don't even taste it. Yeah. Wow, that was disgusting. That was the worst thing I've ever eaten in my life. That, uh. <laughs> what is wrong with you, elf? <laughs> I don't like that. Mm -mm. Not great. Mm -mm. It's not great. Do I have something on my cheek right here? Nope. Okay. Okay, for our first real iconic -like cooking segment, we're gonna make spaghetti tacos. Yes! Oh, of course the spaghetti this tacos. All you need to make Yo, what the? This just shells. gave me flashbacks from my childhood. Oh my god. It's so cute. I honestly like really love the show. And I've always wanted to make it. <laughs> Meatballs? Right about here being dissolved by my stomach acid. Aw, <laughs> oh, I remember this episode too. I 
I want to try this. I can't tell you how many episodes of iCarly I've seen because Hunter watched it though when it was out. Ah, they even put the music on. All right, I'm going for it. This, this looks very good. All right. Mm. Okay, you know when you eat a cookie, you want like the crispy outside and the gooey inside. It's like hard on the outside and then soft on the inside. So it's kind of like that. Yeah, it's really good. Hmm, it doesn't suck. I think because we're so used to the taco meat, taco shell meat combo, it doesn't throw you off. The spaghetti in it just leaves you wondering why. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. It's not really appetizing. Just, just by the looks of it, the smell of it. But for the sake of childhood, John, bro, he's been wanting to eat this. Bone apple teeth. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. Wow. In all reality, like, what the f is this? But at the end of the day, if you try it, it's pretty dang good. That was a good crunch. It was really good. Like, you know how when you're younger, you want to get slimed? Like on Nickelodeon? I feel like it's like the equivalent, like in food version. Like, I feel like it's something you've always wanted to try, but like, I don't know. I, no one makes spaghetti tacos. I'm going to give it a shot. For you. I'm going to do it. Miranda Cosgrove lied to me. She lied to me. You see, I should have never tried this because then it would have like kept that perfect image from my childhood, you know, un unbroken. But now it's just ruined. All right, so now we're going to show you what you would have gotten as a reward had you resisted all these items. Oh God, oh God, okay, I'm scared. <laughs> no, 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 why? <laughs> this looks so good. What in the f is this? Is this a cheeseburger with donuts as the buns? Ooh, I'm kinda like, okay that I'm not gonna eat this. Actually, I'm okay not eating this. I don't like cheese. And this is dripping in cheese. This is terrifying. There is no part of me that wants to eat that. And here is your punishment. What is this? Bro, this looks like, I'm not even kidding you. This looks like vomit, bro, like what? So we also had our FBE super members give us ideas for what the punishment should mm -hmm. be. And they had some twisted kid horror food ideas. Remember Lorelai said, when I was a kid, we used to love to mix orange soda, fruit punch, and milk and loved it. But as an adult, not so much. Yeah, I don't blame her. Um, <laughs> You'll have to take one sip for every food you tried. You know what, I'm feeling fine. You know what, it's almost like everything just cancels it out. Ah, okay, okay. First sip, first sip for mankind. First sip for mankind, okay. Oh, uh, is this weird? It doesn't taste bad, like at all. I just wanna know why she would put milk in it. Like where does milk come in? One. Two. Yeah, these are tiny sips, okay? It's not that good. You know what? I'm gonna mentally tell myself that this is a melted down, like, orange soda float. Is it weird that it's not that bad, though? So finally, what was your favorite thing you tried today? I'm gonna go with... The best was the cotton candy burrito. That ice cream burrito, that was, um, I would have paid money for that. Honestly, it was it was that good. The other ones uh, could have been better. Maybe should have been left in childhood, but I like, the, I like the creativity. I appreciate the creativity, even if they were 
horrible. Thanks for watching us try not to eat childhood fantasy foods. Subscribe for new shows every week. Peace out, guys. Hey, guys. Replay producer Lindsay here. Thanks for watching this episode of Try Not to Eat Childhood Fantasy Foods. And if you want to see the extended cut with even more content that's coming soon, be sure to join our FBE Super membership. Link in the description below.